Hello, this is Q Dragon, and welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story is a bit hard to categorize, so let's just say it's from the world of Crazy Awesome. A team of 15 engineers working with a French software company ran a simulation of towing an iceberg from the waters of Newfoundland to the Canary Islands in Africa. This was based on the idea of George S. Mogan, an engineer who suggested this back in the 70s as a way of getting fresh water to remote areas. Surprisingly, the simulation showed it is possible. It had cost around $10 million and take five months, with the berg losing 38% of its mass. Despite that, if done with a large enough iceberg, it could potentially provide half a million people with fresh water for around a year. These simulation results have encouraged the now 86-year-old George S. Mogan to once again try and find funding for this project. Our next story comes from the field of material science. Researchers in Germany are working on artificial skin made from spider silk. The artificial skin would actually be a mesh of silk with skin cells embedded in it, used to treat burns and other injuries. Spider silk has unique properties, such as its strength and stretchiness, and unlike silkworm silk, it doesn't appear to cause an immune response. Right now, they are just testing culturing cells in the mesh, and results are promising. The skin cells grow and differentiate, slowly replacing the silk. The next hurdle is figuring out how to produce spider silk on a large scale, but other research teams are already working on synthesizing it. And some exciting news from the world of medicine, a team at MIT are developing a broad spectrum antiviral drug. You see, unlike bacterial infections treated with antibiotics, there aren't many options for viral infections. The drug being developed is based on the natural defense mechanism of the cell and latches onto double-stranded RNA. Normally, a virus has a way of disrupting a cell's defenses, but in the drug, the RNA binding protein is linked with a protein causing cell suicide. So far, it's been tested in animal and human cell cultures with great success. It even cured mice infected with H1N1 influenza, and shows zero toxicity because it is expelled by cells unless triggered by a virus. They'll be testing on mice infected with other viruses before moving on to human trials. Our final story comes from the world of biotechnology. Scientists at the University of Massachusetts Amherst have discovered a bacteria that produce highly conductive nanowires. This bacteria grows into a biofilm laced with protein filaments that have about the same conductivity as metal. Such properties haven't been observed in organisms before and open up a number of possibilities, such as cheaper and cleaner to produce nanotech devices. The conductive properties can even be fine-tuned through genetic modification. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing, and be sure to check the links in the video description.